citizens of Griffin Rock, welcome to our Founders Day celebration. The anniversary of the day Horace Burns established our fair town. Now, since that time, Griffin Rock has seen many other great leaders, uh, including <coughs> yours truly. If this speech lasts any longer, your torch may go out. Don't be nervous, sis. Representing generations of our family, everybody watching, no pressure. I'm not nervous, I'm honored. Well, I'm nervous. Bleeds, all you have to do is lift me up to light the ceremonial flame. Yeah, there's a good idea. Wave a burning stick in a gusty wind. All fire code requirements for this ceremony have been met, Heatwave. I saw to it personally. I'd still be a lot happier with less open flame. Not only is Danielle Burns an experienced first responder and a descendant of Horace, she also organized Griffin Rock's extremely successful clothing drive for the mainland. And so this year, Danny has been chosen to light this flame. Don't count on it, Mr. Mayor. Huxley Prescott reporting, once again ripping the lid off the scandals and secrets of Griffin Rock. At this very moment, I am holding proof that the Burnses are not the upright family everyone thinks they are. Huxley, what's all this about? It's about a skeleton in the closet, Chief. Your family's closet. There's a skeleton in the closet at the firehouse? I'll explain later. I'm referring, of course, to Horace Burns' wife, Bertha. Or should I say, Bertha the Pirate. Pirate? And not just any pirate, but THE pirate, who in 1652 stole a fortune from Ye Old Griffin Rock Guildhall Charity Fund. <gasps> Huxley, what makes you think this Bertha the Pirate was the same Bertha as my great-great-great-grandmother? Good question, Ms. Burns. Yo-ho-ho -ho and a bottle of that! <gasps> Danny Burns begotten by pirates? Hey, well, obviously, I'll just have to light the torch myself. But, Mayor, I'm not... Mr. Mayor, please. Griffin Rock has been betrayed! Mayor, look out! A routine patrol with four bats and stasis. You stay in a boat, kill the strangest of places. Earth was their home, now and in addition. Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Learn from the human, serve and protect. Live in their world, earn their respect. Don't let that fire spread. <laughs> My hair! Is this how you handle a crisis? Oh, just like pirates to ruin this day. Don't think for a minute you'll ever light that torch. But you started the fire. Now you're spreading accusations. Oh, if you think I'm leaving the safety of Griffin Rock in the hands of you, Buccaneer Burnses, you've got another thing coming. Mr. Mayor, listen to reason. Chief Burns, you and your entire family are suspended. What? That's ridiculous. Mayor Lusky? Are you kidding? <gasps> And your little bots, too! Mr. Alpha, Milo, Mr. Harrison, follow me. We're forming a citizen safety board. I don't understand. How can you be judged for the actions of somebody in the past? I've never understood it either. 
my teacher, Mrs. Murphy, still yells at me for all the trouble Cade caused in school. And that was years ago. Yeah, sorry, Code. But looking back, it was so worth it. For the record, I have witnessed no piratical activity amongst your family, and would swear so in a court of law. Thanks, Chase. I hope it doesn't come to that. Danny Burns, Griffin Rock wants to know if you have any comment on your spiral into disgrace. Nothing fit for TV. Where did you find this painting, and, and who told you those lies? A reporter never reveals his source. Maybe not. But most reporters didn't sing a karaoke disco medley at last year's Lobster Fest. Should I show your audience? Uh, uh, this is Huxley Prescott protecting his sources and signing off! You and your wily pirate ways. All right, then. I learned all of this from your uncle, Woodrow Burns. You'll find him in the library. Uncle Woodrow! Well, hello, family. Shh! Hello, family? Is that all you have to say for yourself? We were all just suspended because of what you told Huxley. What? But why? All I told him was that we had a pirate ancestor. Shh! Let's go somewhere where we can talk. All right, Woodrow. First of all, why would you say that to Huxley before telling us? We didn't even know you were in town. Because I wanted to surprise you all with the good news. Good news? What, our great uncle is Count Dracula? No, I'm talking about what I found while researching the family. The map to Bertha's lost treasure. A treasure map? Noble! So there really was a treasure? I thought all that pirate in the family stuff was just a legend. Unfortunately, Bertha's theft of the Guildhall Charity Fund is well documented by historians. Tisk tisk, a blemish upon the Burns family name. That was a long time ago. What difference does it make? You're right. It just doesn't seem fair. It might not even be the same Bertha. This painting doesn't prove anything. This map will definitely help clear things up. Except... It doesn't specify exactly where these islands are. I was hoping maybe you bots could help. Hmm. Let me take a look. I'm running it through the database. No matches yet. Wait a minute. Boulder, can you invert the image? Make the dark parts light and vice versa, like a photograph negative. Those aren't islands. It's water, and this is the shoreline. It's the cove by the sea caves, near the Griffin Keys. Bertha was known to frequent those caves. It's as good a place to start as any. A reverse map? She must have been pretty clever. Well, Burns family, time for an adventure. Sorry, Woody. I'm not following you on another wild goose chase. It does seem like a long shot. I think you've been punked by a pirate. I'll go, Uncle Woodrow. If it's okay, Dad. Well, I... don't worry, Charlie. I'll keep an eye on Cody. And I'll keep an eye on Uncle Woodrow. Seriously? Treasure hunting? I want to get to the bottom of this and clear the Burns family name. And my face. Arg! Shiver me timbers, matey! I'm on board, too! First crisis of the day! Uh, not counting the fire you started, sir? Not counting that. Our holographic traffic lights are on the fritz. But never fear, the Citizen Safety Board is here. And our own Mr. Harrison will direct traffic to keep us safe. Ain't ready, Mr. Harrison? Just watch my hand signals. All the gear we need, Uncle Woodrow? Lantern, flares, cupcakes, <laughs> you name it. The cave looks pretty narrow. I'm not sure you'll fit inside, Blades. Oh, darn. I guess I'll have to stay outside. But I'll be thinking of you. Whoa! 
We've been searching forever. This reminds me of the rock mazes of Ibabunto. I spent hours finding my way out. So what you're trying to say is... Yep, we're lost. Uncle Woodrow. We just took a few wrong turns. But this tunnel looks promising. I think I squashed the cupcakes. Everybody okay? Where are we? Blades? Blades, do you read? No, oh, the walls must be too thick for our signal to get out. We've been gone for a long time. I'm sure he went for help by now. <laughs> I hope Danny and Cody are having as much fun as I am. That's daylight. This must be the way out. I don't think we want out just yet. A skull and crossbones, like the one in the portrait of Bertha. Do you think this could be her lair? Cody, every pirate used this symbol. It doesn't prove anything. Besides, I don't even see any treasure. Shouldn't there be two of these? I mean, you can't have a crossbones with only one bone, right? Maybe Bertha's trying to tell us something. That if she was a pirate, she wasn't very good at it. Okay, just for the sake of argument, if the second bone was here, it would point this way. Whoa! Found something! A lever! Uh -oh. Look, everybody! No way. Unbelievable. What's inside? What do you know? There's a treasure after all. There's a chest. That's all we know for now. We haven't looked yet. We decided to save the big moment for everybody to share. Well, come on, open it. The suspense is killing me. Part of me hopes it's empty. Just to prove that maybe Bertha wasn't a pirate after all. <laughs> oh. So not knew it. So. Yeah, knew it. Too so. bad. Anticlimactic. Wait, Uncle Woodrow, look! There's something written on the inside of the chest. Another clue? Only the last key will unlock the hidden treasure. Excellent. But are there instructions on where to find this key? That it's a riddle. Hmm. Maybe a, a musical key? C sharp! The last key. Key is in island? The farthest island of the Griffin Keys! That's where the treasure must be buried. Hmm. Gotta admit, Bertha was one smart lady. Must run in the family. So, intrigued now, Charlie? Care to go on an adventure? Sure, beats sitting around doing nothing. We cannot all participate. It would be a violation of our oath to leave Griffin Rock unprotected. Griffin Rock doesn't want our protection. It's still our responsibility to keep an eye on things. Chase, you mind staying behind to watch the command center? With pleasure, and I will contact you if there is an emergency. Well then, little brother, let's go find some answers. We should be singing sea shanties! Anybody know any? Besides yo-ho-ho, -ho, that one gets pretty old. What's so great about finding rusty old metal anyway? That rusty old metal is worth a fortune. Cade, we're not here to get rich. We're here to learn more about our family history. No, we're here to prove this treasure has nothing to do with our family history. That I, we, are not descended from pirates. Danny, whatever Bertha did or didn't do, it doesn't change who you are. Tell that to the mayor. Cade, maybe you should let Woodrow take the lead. He's had a bit more experience. Dad, I know what I'm doing. Be careful. These trees are perfect nesting places for indigenous insects like this. Digger wasps! Ah, I'm a 
Magic! Gabe! Jump in the water! I can help with that. Get <laughs> away! Get a face! Ah! Good thinking, Woodrow. Yeah. Thanks. I think. <laughs> that was nothing compared to the giant hornets of Wapzilla. They ever tell you about those? Often. Yes, ma'am. We know your son's kite has been stuck in that tree for hours. And the Citizen Safety Board will be there any minute. Or by Tuesday. No, sir. We can't look for your lost pet right now. Perhaps if you set out a saucer of whatever pythons drink? <laughs> oh, this is a disaster. Uh, I should never have suspended the Burnses. But I'm a leader. I can't just flip-flop now, can I? More sand. Same palm trees. And no clues. Wait, look! X marks the spot. The palm trees are the clue. The treasure is up there. I hit something. Careful now. Whatever the treasure is, it's centuries old. We wouldn't want to damage this rotted piece of wood. Oh, oh, oh man. Ow. My timber's just unshivered. Maybe it's... Another clue? Uh, no, you were right again, Charlie. Another Woodrow Burns wild goose chase. Looks like Bertha was just trying to fool everybody. Us included. I'm sorry, Woody. Really. But this can't be all there is. You said it yourself, Dad. Bertha was a smart lady. She wouldn't go to all this trouble. The map, the clues, for nothing. We're judging things by what we found on the surface. Just like the mayor judged us. Boulder, keep digging! Sure, Danny. You were right. This timber goes down pretty far. Wait. That's... The mast of a ship! Okay! Reshiver me timbers! Arg. Now that's what I call a good hiding spot. How on earth did Bertha bury her entire ship? I'm beginning to think she could do anything she put her mind to. Whoa. Jackpot. You said it. Bertha's logbook. Uh, I was talking about the gold. Forget the gold. Here, Danny, read this. I, Bertha Carnahan. Carnahan? Her maiden name, before she married Horace. Hereby end my pirate career with my richest booty yet, the Guildhall Charity Fund. Oh, so it's true. Keep reading. I wish to start afresh in life as Mrs. Horace Burns, but I cannot return the treasure without revealing my identity. While I would gladly accept my own punishment, I cannot bring shame upon Horace and his family. Thus, I bury this treasure here, hoping that one day my descendants may find it and do what is honorable. What I do, I do for love. She really was a pirate. Exactly, was. But she got a second chance and took it. Now it's up to us to do as she asked. What do we tell the mayor? I have a few ideas. Welcome to Founder's Day Part 2! Forget Founder's Day! What are you doing about that useless citizen safety board? Milo, you're on that board! No, no, that's beside the point! We need the Burgess back! Bring back the Burgess! Bring back the Burgess, everybody! Bring, Bring back, back the Burgess! You down there! Bring, Bring back, back the Burgess! I like the sound of that. Danny Burns! Your pirate clan are not invited to this celebration! You might want to reconsider. Ooh, yeah! Gold doubloons. Enough to fix the damage from yesterday's fire. And any other damage caused by our suspension. Huxley Prescott on the scene with breaking news. Danny Burns, is this Bertha's lost treasure? Bertha's found treasure. And the rest of it will go to charity, as originally intended. I know it's the right thing to do, but that part kind of hurts. And we found her pirate ship. That will go to the museum. Aw, we're giving away that too? I wanted to keep it. 
None of that changes the fact that your ancestor was a pirate. Ah, but she gave up the pirate life when she fell in love with Horace Burns. The proof is here. But that doesn't even matter. It doesn't? No, because people should be judged for what they do, not their family or their friends or anybody else. And that's true whether they're pirates, police, or even politicians. Well, in that case, welcome back, Burnses! Here, Chief. These are your problems now. Uh, you may want to deal with the python first. Hey, Danny, could you come to school and repeat that speech to Mrs. Murphy? Aw, sure, Cody. And we'll bring Cade. Me? With Mrs. Murphy? She'll give me detention for life! I want to go back to the firehouse. We need to find that closet and get rid of the skeleton. I think we just did, buddy. So, Uncle Woodrow, does the logbook say how Bertha and Horace met? Or how they fell in love? No. Clearly, there's more to this story. Who's up for the library? No thanks. No thanks. I need to clean the toaster. Once a year's my limit. Thanks for the lift, Heatwave. You're a lot faster than our floating lab, and way cooler. I sure don't mind getting away from fire for a day. One thing about the ocean, it doesn't burn. Sea monster! <laughs> or maybe smudge? <laughs> Sorry. Three more miles due east, Doc. Is that it? Drilling platform number six. They used to call it Old Faithful when it was pumping oil. Then it went drier than Danny's meatloaf. <laughs> so why start it up again after all these years? New owners. They think they can drill deeper and find more oil. I suspect the seabed below the rig has become too unstable for any new drilling. That's what the mayor wants us to find out. The town can't issue any new drilling permits until we know for sure. Getting a little choppy, guys. Hang on. Whirlpool, dead ahead! Turn, heat wave! Quickly! <sighs> can't fall free! Too strong! Ah! <laughs> Mayday! SOS! Dad! Somebody! It's no use. There's no one around for miles. Uh... says Autobot, but I've never seen any bot that big. Oh, well, it looks like he means us no harm. So far. No oh my! Who is this guy? Hey, uh, Thanks for the save, but I got it from here. Let go! Hey, did you hear me? You gonna let us down or what? That bot's got some nerve. Are, but you and I are gonna have some words. High tide, my friend. Welcome to Earth. Opie, yo land yacht. How are you? Optimus. Thank you for answering my call. Good thing I did. 
I was having a gander at the local seabed when I caught their SOS. Found this wee rowboat circling the drain. Wait, you... you know this guy? This is High Tide, my old comrade in arms and the finest master seaman who ever lived. High Tide, meet rescue bot Heatwave. And these are some of the humans I was telling you about. Dr. Green and Frankie, Graham and Cody Burns. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for saving us. Huh. Now then, you wanted some words with me. Any in particular? Just, uh, well, thanks for the rescue. Come. I want you to meet the rest of the team as well. <sighs> Rowboat. High Tide has come at my request for a purpose. To make our team seaworthy. Is this about the time I accidentally sank Heatwave? No, Blades. This is about getting some advanced training in seagoing rescue techniques. We've made plenty of water rescues. I know. But if that old oil rig is reactivated, we may need skills beyond even yours. That's why I've asked Optimus for help. It does seem prudent. If my suspicions are confirmed, any new drilling could potentially trigger an ecological calamity. That is why I called in an expert. The Chief has graciously agreed to go without your services during your training. We can use our old rides for a few days. During that time, High Tide will lead you. Follow his instructions and learn from him. Ooh, new honcho bot in town, big guy. Better watch your step. If Optimus says you're the real deal, that's good enough for me. Agreed. We will endeavor to make you proud. <laughs> we'll see. In truth, High Tide has much to learn from the team as well. Oh, the smoke alarm. Meatloaf must be done. Dinner! You too, Doc and Frankie. <laughs> Thanks. One last thing, High Tide. I recommend having a human guide to help you negotiate their world. Don't trouble yourself, Opie. Frankly, I find the species not worth bothering with. Humans may yet surprise you. I suggest Cody as your guide. He has experience orienting Autobots. Yeah, I suppose a small one can't be too much trouble. He's hardly a blip on my radar. Ten hut! Look at you scurvy wharf rats. Uh, Optimus didn't give me much to work with, did he? What are you supposed to be? Some oversized Skeeter bot? Um, uh, actually, a helicopter, sir? It wasn't really my idea. You see, one day, just after we'd arrived on Earth... When I want your life story, I'll ask for it. Understand? Fly, boy. Yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. I mean... Mm -mm. Oh, ah! oh. Ow. Servo! Whoa! Noble! Oil spill! Sir, as I'm sure you are aware, the Marine Code classifies oil as a hazardous material to be collected and disposed of responsibly. What? Hear that, Servo? Why, we're practically criminals. But he's sure enough right. Here, Swabby, start mopping. Um, uh, oh, you mean me? Uh, uh, to the best of my ability, sir. Swabby. Job one is to make you mangy lot seaworthy. Servo, some marine rescue gear for these sea slugs. <laughs> Cool. You're the handiest bot ever. Kinda cute, too. Big Red's already a fireboat. The Mosquito's got a rescue harness. So what to give you? Here. Uh, surfboard? Um, I've never really learned how. Well, then it's about time you did. Anyway, the board will do the surfing for you. Climb on! And for me, sir? You're doing a fine job, Shippy. Keep at it. 
Now, there's a throttle under your front toe. Ah! Yeah! Use your knees! Lean into it! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Go Boulder! I feel so light! <laughs> so free! Whoa! Whoa! So sinking! Boulder! Boulder! Rescue bots, roll to play that! He's heading for a deep water trench! Way too risky for a crew of hatchlings. I don't even know why I bother swapping the deck. All anyone does is drip on it. Sorry, sir. Guess I got kind of carried away. You sure did. Almost permanent like. At sea, there's no room for error. Yes, sir. It's okay, Boulder. I can't surf either. Now, me dainties, if we can get back to our drills. Try to get this right, Flyboy. Servo, victim mode. Don't approach into the sun. The glare off the water makes it too hard to see him. Swing that tail around. Hold your position steady. Now drop that line. Uh, Mr. High Tide, Blades actually does a lot better if you encourage him instead of yelling. Oh, do you think so, Blip? Well... I've been training bots for thousands of cycles, so I think I know how to train this one! Okay, calm, deep breaths, go to your happy place. Slow and easy. Yikes! Speed it up, you bomby bug! Ah! Whoa! Any chance you didn't notice that? <laughs> so, team, how'd your first day go? It wasn't my fault! That bad, huh? Well, you'll do better tomorrow. Whoa, what is that? His name is Servo. He appears to be a cross between a schnauzer and a toolbox. <laughs> Impressive. He belongs to High Tide. I just volunteered to buff out his dings after today's, um, incident. It wasn't my fault! The rig's in even worse shape than we thought. Rusted beams, missing struts, exposed wiring. That's not all. The cap on this well looks dangerously corroded. If it gets any worse, it could cause a huge oil spill. I'll file my report today. I'm recommending that site be off-limits until the rig is repaired and that old cap replaced. I agree. I'll order a new one, then run some tests to find the best way to install it. Now, let's see if we can get through this drill in one piece. Servo will dive into the brine. Boulder, you'll surf in to scoop him up, then back to Heat Wave. Be wary of the waves. They'll pull you under and keep you there. Chase, keep an eye on Boulder. Blades, yeah. Blades, where in blazes is that lily-livered locust? Take it easy, Milo. We're gonna take you to the hospital. Um, Copterbot, return to base. Wait, you mangy moth! Get back here now! But, sir, a human needed help. Those weren't your orders. When you're under my command, you don't move till I say so. You're a washout mosquito, a waste of energon! And you're a big bully! Whoa. Oh dear. Uh oh. Blade spotted a real emergency, and he did exactly the right thing, because he cares about people. 
We're here to help, don't you get that? Ah, uh, you got gumption, Blip, I'll give you that. And I hate gumption! So stay out of things that aren't your concern, you hear me? We've all been hearing you, now you hear me. Cody's right. I'm only sorry I didn't say it first. There's no more loyal or helpful rescue bot than Blades, in this or any other galaxy. Hey, wait. You mean that? Not now! I don't care how chummy you are with Optimus. Nobody talks to my team that way. Nobody. That's it, Bucko. Incompetence is one thing, but insubordination is another. Get off my ship! <sighs> Well, anybody else feeling expendable? Before I let Optimus know what a bunch of slimy scalapro you all are? I am unsure of the meaning, but I'm certain it was not complimentary. Sorry I let you down, Optimus. I know you wanted us to learn from him. High tide can be demanding, even harsh, but I asked him here for a reason. With all due respect, sir, he crossed a line. So maybe I should just sit this one out and let him teach the others. I would prefer you return. I don't believe either of you has finished learning from the other. But the decision must be yours. Hmm, as I feared. It's just peanut butter, Daddy. No, I mean these readings. I've been trying to determine the best way to install that new oil cap. But the situation is more critical than I thought. This entire area is far too unstable for future drilling. With any rig, one tremor could trigger a disaster. Rock emergency. What? Right away. Cody, call High Tide. Tell him we need him and the bots. Now. I see them. Just barely. They're surrounded by burning oil. And that rig looks ready to fall over. Do your job, Mosquito. Yes, sir. No, Blades. We can't reach them. The fire's too high. We'll have to find another way. You, Red, out of my cabin. I'm going, you can't. But too dangerous. Now, scoot. What? What are we... Hi, Ty. Any luck? I tried to plug the leak. Couldn't be done. We await your order, sir. What now? Ah, your cockamamie planet and its flaming oceans. Look! Finally! Somebody who does know fire! <sighs> Vacation's over, hotshot. Time to get to work. Hey, I was waiting for you. End of the line code, too dangerous. I need some of that goo you use to soak up the oil. Oh, and, uh, permission to come aboard, sir. Granted. Chase, you and Servo load up his tanks with a dispersant. We need to put that new cap on the leak, but we have to get to it first. I'm going in for Doc and Frankie. Follow me on your board. Chase, you with us? I am not sure my mopping experience will prove useful, but I am most happy to help. Rescue bots, surf to the rescue! Ugh. Gonna fall! We can help! 
Blades, drop your winch. I'll keep you above the smoke. Boulder, you're our eyes. Swinging Kale around and holding steady. More to the left. Lower. Almost there. That's it. Pull up. Getting a little heavy. We're almost clear. Now! Move your taillights! Ready with the cap? That's what I was thinking, Blip. You'll be a sailor yet. Mayor Lusky, and I'm afraid the site is too dangerous to consider any future drilling permits. I gotta admit, Opie, your bilge rats got the right stuff. Even the whirly bird found high gear. Sadly, that's the nicest thing he's ever said to me. Good work, Skeeter. Second nicest. <laughs> you have taught them, High Tide, but you have also learned from them. And that was your plan from the get-go, weren't it, you old skellywag? Well, you were right. Teaming up with humans mm, might not be the worst idea ever. You all work well together, and it might be my management style could use a bit of finessing. I have one more request. Since Dr. Green's floating lab was lost in the fire, would you be willing to remain on Earth for a time to take its place? Till I'm needed elsewhere, it'd be my pleasure. I'm off. Servo, stay here and watch over these lollygaggers. That's an order. Blip, uh, Cody, here's his whistle. Keep it for me, will you? Noble. 